Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Nerd Doctors. We have another viewer request to talk a little bit more about the Daredevil and TMNT connection and whether or not it has any validity to it. While it's not confirmed by either company in an official capacity, it is heavily implied that these two origins between Daredevil and him getting his powers in the TMNT are heavily connected. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of a gag between between them. It's more like a like a tribute to Daredevil. Clearly, the the creators of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were big fans of Daredevil. Uh, so essentially, what happens is that they just put their origin story that kind of very much like aligns with Daredevil. So we all know that Matt Murdock was crossing the street. I mean, he saved a, an old man from getting hit by a truck. Essentially, he gets smacked with it, falls on the floor batch of chemicals jump in his eyes and we have enough daredevil videos for you guys to go check them out and find out what happens to Matt Murdock. But on that same day, apparently in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle lore, the young man that's the, the little kid that's crossing the street with fish fish tank with four turtles. The one of the canisters bounces off the truck and shatters the fishbowl. Apparently the same chemicals that make Daredevil Daredevil is the ooze that we come to love in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and that's what transforms our beloved heroes and their rat splinter their rat splinter, their master rat splinter <laughs> into what we know today. The, and that's the connection and and like Griff said at the beginning of, of our video, it's not like Marvel and you know Mirage were like, let's do this man let's sign off on this. But it's kind of like, like a nod between two you know creators. Kind of like if anyone's seen star wars episode one the phantom menace pan down in the senate scene we clearly see et and that was just a small gag between steven spielberg and george lucas who are best of buddies yeah it's not confirmed it's not like you know the et race are gonna become sith lords at some time or anything like that it's just it's a little gag between creators that is fun for the fans and this is very similar to that yeah, it's just the creators of TMNT drew inspirations from Daredevil, from Ronin. It was, it was just kind of like a nod of respect. And another thing is just Splinter's name is directly taken from Stick as well. And essentially, like we said in our past videos, there's a lot of similarities between Stick and Splinter, except that Stick is a complete not dick a rat. <laughs> and not a rat. But, you know, Splinter's nice. He's very kind. Sticks a dick. But, you know, th those are little fun facts like that. And uh, not a lot of fans know this. Even Charlie Cox has, has talked about this many times at cons where when he was made aware, aware of it, he almost thought it was a joke. But now he thinks it's just great. And, yeah, I mean, if if you're a Daredevil fan and a Ninja Turtle fan, now you know that there's this connection. And if you were just a fan of the other, well, maybe you could breach the world and you could dive into the other one. If you were a Daredevil fan, go check out Ninja Turtles and vice versa. You'll have fun either way. Exactly. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We'll see you guys next time. Hope this helps, guys. Please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let us know your comments. Let us know what you think about this. And let us know if you want to hear about another weird, crazy fact about comics or sci-fi.